it go? Where does it stop? Watch for the sign of the lollipop. Hello. Have a look at this. What do you think it is? It's a blanket. Oh, no, it's a blanket. Oh, what did you ask me then? No, I mean, what's underneath the blanket? Oh, those two humps sticking up. Uh, a camel. Oh, oh, I see. You mean they could be the two humps on the camel's back? Yes, I've seen one in a zoo. Oh. I wonder what they're going to do with a camel. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello, Poppy. Hello, Peggy. Hello, Hello Andy. Andy. Andy, hmm? is there a camel in today's story? A camel? Oh. No. Why? Well, what's this then? A blanket. Don't start that again. We need the blanket for the first story. Oh. It's called The Farmer and the Apple Tree. Oh, good. I like farms. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Andy, hmm? you've forgotten the blanket. Oops. <gasps> Wobble and Humphrey. Oh, that's what those two lumps were. It wasn't a camel at all, Peggy. Peggy, where's she gone? Wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble. <laughs> Long ago, there lived a farmer and his wife, and in the garden, was an old apple tree. This one. It's a very old tree. No longer grew any apples. But it was still useful for all sorts of reasons. All kinds of animals used to shelter in it. And the farmer's wife used its branches to hang her washing out to dry. Hello there, Jack. Will you help me hang out my washing? Ar, ar. Certainly I will. <sighs> This is the way we hang out the washing, hang out the washing, hang out the washing. This is the way we hang out the washing on the apple tree. And this, this is the way we hang out the washing, hang out the washing, hang out the washing. This is the way we hang out the washing on the apple tree. There. <sighs> Done. Oh, yes, it'll soon dry in this hot sunshine. <sighs> I don't know what I'd do without this old apple tree. Mm. Tweet, tweet. Let we steer a while in the shade of this apple tree. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet. Good idea. Tweet, tweet. The sun is so hot today. Oh, tweet, tweet. Look, Jack, those birds up there, don't they sing sweetly? It is the only spot round here that they can find shelter in. Now, come, Jack. How about a cool glass of lemonade? Oh, perfect. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet, tweet. tweet, tweet. By gum, it's hard work being a farmer. Ugh, this old apple tree. It's been years since I grew any apples. Look at it. Ugh, it's just in the way. Right. Time to chop it down. Tweet, tweet, <sighs> tweet. Did you hear that? Tweet, tweet. I certainly did. Tweet, tweet. Chop our apple tree down. The farmer called it useless. Tweet, tweet. Mm, useless to him, but not to us. Tweet, tweet. Wherever shall we shelter from the sun and rain now? You! Mm. Was that rotten farmer really going to chop down the apple tree? Mm, you went straight into the barn to get his big axe. Yeah. But that's terrible. Where will the birds shelter? Oh, I hope the farmer changes his mind. Mm. Well, but, husband, you can't chop down that lovely old tree. Too late. I've made up my mind. I've not had an apple from it in five years. But, but what about the animals and the birds? Yeah. And what about my washing? I don't care about that. Now, where's Jack? I need his help. Husband! Oh, Jack! I mean, Andy, do something! Jack, Save don't the worry. apple tree! Don't worry, all is not what it seems. Oh, all this excitement's making me whiskers kill. Jack! Jack! Oh, it's them 
boy to push the tree down as I chop it. Right, right. <laughs> Farmer, down. No, you will no longer hear our merry chirping to soothe you as you work in your garden. Bah. Stem boy, Jack. No, this is the way to chop down the tree. Chop down the tree. Chop down the tree. This is the way to chop down the tree. It's an old and useless thing. <laughs> What's that noise? Look! Bees! Bees? Bees? Oh my goodness me, they'll get everywhere. They'll go up my legs and in my hair and... and, and... Well, sweep my muddy floor. The inside of this tree is hollow. There's a beehive inside it. And where there's bees... There's honey. Honey? I love honey. It's my favourite treat. So, husband, are you still going to chop down this lovely old tree? <laughs> chop it down? <laughs> chop down this wonderful, useful old tree full of honey? <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. It can stay here forever. Hey! hey! Come, wife. Let us bake some bread for honey sandwiches. And so the old apple tree was saved. And the birds of their shelter after all. Tweet, 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 tweet. Oh, what a relief. Mm. Thank goodness for those bees. Well, the apple tree looked old and useless on the outside, but inside was full of useful honey. So things aren't always what we think they are. Mm. I love honey. It's yummy. No, it's yummy dummy. It's yummy dummy dumptious. It's all right, yummy, all dummy, right. Dumptious, we get the message. You like honey. Mm. Yes. Do you? Oh, I do actually. In fact, I could do with some right now. Thank you. That's service. Hmm. Andy, pass us up a sandwich, please. Here you are. Oh, lovely. Mm. Tuck in, Peggy. The man in the moon came tumbling down and asked the way to Norwich. He went by the south and burnt his mouth with eating cold peas porridge. The moon? Mr. Moon, Mr. Moon, you're up too soon. The sun's still in the sky. So go back to bed and cover up your head and wait till the sun's gone by. Another moon? Hmm. The man in the moon looked out of the moon, looked out of the moon and said, it is time for all the children on earth to think about going to bed. Yeah. Mm. Who are all these moons? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Why have you got moon masks? Well, there's a moon in the next story. Come on, let's go and get ready. Right, right. It's about a statue called Mungo. That's a funny name for a statue. Oh, well, Mungo is a funny statue. Ew. Mungo lived in the middle of a children's playground. Now, although he was made of stone and couldn't move, he could think, and he did have feelings. He could be happy and he could be sad, just like us. He loved children and they loved him. They thought he was a brilliant climbing frame and they loved jumping off him. Oh, he does look kind. He was. On the outside he was made of stone, but underneath he had a heart of gold. He's a bit old and mouldy though. That's right. And that was the cause of the trouble. You see, one day Mrs Newcomb, who was in charge of the children's playgrounds, came to look around. Now then, I've been looking at the children's playground, and what it needs is a brand new climbing frame. Right. Where? Here. We'll knock down this old statue to make way for it. But Mrs. Newcomb, Mungo's been here for as long as anyone can remember. The children love him. In fact, they use him as a climbing frame. They'll love the new climbing frame even more. Tell the workman to knock the old statue down and take it to the rubbish dump first thing in the morning. Come along. Poor Mungo. Mungo was very sad. He wondered what it would be like to live on the rubbish dump. A bit lonely. Yes. Wasn't there anyone to help him? Well, that night, 
there was a full moon. And the moon looked big and shiny and somehow magical. Mungo? Mungo! It's me, the moon. Listen, Mungo, tonight I am full and I have the power to do magic. I give you the gift of being able to speak. What is making you sad, Mungo? I... I like living here in the playground, surrounded by all the happy children. But they're going to knock me down in the morning. Oh, dear. The children will miss you. And I'll miss them. Well, Mungo, I won't be here to help you in the morning, but I'll tell you what I can do. What? I'll give you the gift of life. I'll be able to move? Yes, but it will only last for one morning. During that time, you must sort everything out for yourself. I give you the gift of life. I can move. I, I can move. Good luck, Mungo. Good luck. The man in the moon to the rescue. Well, not quite, Poppy, because there was still the problem of Mrs. Newcomb and the bulldozers. Oh, yes. What happened? Well, Mungo was still in his place. Nothing had changed. Mrs. Newcomb and the workmen arrived to knock Mungo down, but Mungo had a few surprises in store for them. Ah, oh, the bulldozers are here. We'll soon have this old statue knocked down. <laughs> Funny. Uh, did you see anything, Miss Blossop? No. Oh. Ah, it looks uglier than ever. Where have those workmen got to? What did you do that for? I didn't do anything. Then who did? I don't know. <laughs> really stop these children's games, Miss Blossop. I didn't. Hand over my hat. I haven't got your hat. <gasps> oh, look. look. How on earth did it get up there? Oh, I've had enough of this. Come on, let's G up those workmen. I leave my notebook. <gasps> it's gone. This is Newcomb. This is the way to trick them all. Trick them all. Trick them all. This is the way to trick them all. I hope they let me stay. And then, when I came back, the statue had gone! Look! Oh! Well, it soon will be gone. Come along, Miss Blossop. We do have other playgrounds to inspect. Oh, carry on, Mr. Hammer. Right on, Mrs. Newcomb. Stand by with the bulldozers, lads. Stay stiff, for it. Certainly is. Hi. Did you just talk? To me? Yes. Don't most statues talk? No. Oh. Oh, by the way, don't you think the new climbing frame would be much better over there, underneath the tree where the ground's nice and dry? Over there. Over there. Yeah, anything you say. Oh! <laughs> Ew. Naughty Mungo scared that workman. <laughs> he did a bit. But it did the trick. How? Well, as a matter of fact, Mungo was right. 
underneath the tree was a better place to put the new climbing frame. You see, Mungo had been living in the playground for so many years, he knew it inside out. He knew that if the new climbing frame was put under the tree, the children could play on it even if it started to rain. They'd still be dry. Exactly. Didn't Mrs. Newcomb get cross when she saw what had happened? Not really. Ah, wasn't it a good idea of mine to put the new climbing frame under the tree instead? Nice and dry. Yes, because that way the children can play on Mungo when it's sunny and on the new climbing frame when it's rainy. Quite. <laughs> and I suppose this old statue, Mungo, is rather fun after all. My hat certainly cheers him up. I still don't know how it got up there, though. Come along, Miss Glossop. So Mungo wasn't alive anymore, then? No, he was a statue again, but a very happy statue. Did he ever come to life again? Sometimes, when it was a full moon, but no one ever saw him. <laughs> Have you ever seen a statue move? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Statues don't really move. They stay very, very still. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Hey, I know a statue game. Who? I'll do an action, and then I'll stop very still, like a statue, and you have to guess what I'm doing. Right. right. All right? And see if you can guess too. I'll do it up here. You. Ready? Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I'll do. Yes, you're a flamingo on one leg. Mm. No. Uh, you're an ice skater. No. Well, give us a clue, David. Okay. You're a ballet dancer. No. Uh, you're playing football. Yeah. 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 Well done, Peggy. Sure go. Go on. Right. Oh. Where's she gone? I'm over here. Oh. Oh, yes, so you are. Have you started yet? Yes. You're being wobble. No. Ew. Are you a tree? No. Give us a clue. All right. I'm on a farm and I go, shoo, shoo. Yeah. Are you going shoo, shoo? Because you're scaring something away. Yes, I am. Can you guess? You're a scarecrow. Yeah. 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 Well yeah. done. Yeah. You're going. Go on. Go on, Emma. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you're dancing. Mm -hmm. No. Can you guess? Um, you're putting up an umbrella. No, hurry up, I'm oh. calling over. I know, I know, I know. You're digging in the garden. Yes, it. Yeah, Andy, Yay. you'll go. Right, hold my hat. Go on, Andy. Oh, oh yes, oh, I know what you're doing. Yes, um, you're being Humphrey, aren't you? No. Who does that? Uh, you're a ballet dancer. No. Are you a monster? Mm. No. Oh, give us a clue, Andy. Right, a simple clue, a simple clue. It's a tricky one. This is a tricky one. Oh, you're climbing a climbing frame, that like in the story. Yeah. Well yeah. done, Poppy. Well, well done. <laughs> perhaps you could try being a statue. Yes. We'll see you soon. Bye. 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 Could you give me a hand to lift this? Yes, it's lovely. You're very good, Peggy. Very still, you were. I'll take that. There's your hat down there.